good day, ladies and gentlemen. Number thing I want to say is thank you for a friend of mine that tried to get two other people scrutinized, I guess you could say. But the third individual insisted on sending that. I don't care what he says. I've talked to his mother for an hour and a half on the line before. And he has issues. But he's, I still take him back. And, and Frankie said, yeah, and you had him back one time. That's Frank Fredball. And uh, how, how come you can trust him? Well, I was doing I guess I can't. Because he gets a hold of me every night. He comes in my lawn show, uh, which, you know, they've all conveniently uh, disgraced to the ultimate, okay, literally. Um, one thing I do want to say, uh, war, that's, that was a B, Stay away from my son, because if you don't, and don't leave him alone, it's to keep spreading lies. What's wrote there is wrote there. That was, you know how you go in the military and you get brainwashed to kill, kill, kill? Well, after my ex-father-in-law, John Glenn's, uh, Senator John Glenn's supervisor, for 15 years, federal lawyer died. We used to always go out Sunday mornings at the church. I got out a bit later than him. That's when I was trying to get into the book and seeing that there was a lot of man made laws, and I really didn't agree with a lot of them. But I wanted to be baptized. So I did. And I learned all the college courses. And my pastor called me up. My, yeah, my pastor called me up, had me sign Schofield Bible with my certificate of pastorism. And I know I talk terrible, and I try to be an asshole to everybody. But it's awful funny when I do nice things. Okay, like this. You understand me? This this was to Brandy that don't talk. And you told me to leave the message to, and even me and Ruth got involved. I know the, the paranormal thing. It's all over for me. It, you know, it's not bad and it's not good. There's only one bad. I can't figure out who it is. Maybe it's a uh, Freddy Krueger. I don't know. SinCityLiveRadio.com, straight out of SinCityLiveRadio.com, which is the nasty and no owl. That's www.citylivereradio.com. So relax, smoke what you smoke, drink what you drink, get in your favorite Barco lounge or recliner, whatever. Whatever's most comfortable to you. Get on top of your woman. I don't care. Now, thing I don't understand, my local radio stations play me, and they get a lot of information from me, and they don't even have a tag board. It's for the S for songs and for my great friends to write to me and have a good time, okay? Yeah, you know, and order up songs, because we love y'all. And we do this because we love everybody. I hope that, you know, we have a good time tonight. And uh, I'll be there at this time. Uh, it's a secret party. Uh, I'm coming.
Now this is where I I got permission to play it by Rock Nonstop. I won't say his real name because I don't want to get him involved. Now he plays this song, and, he, and I after he gave it to me, I put the bongos in it. And he says, wow, that's, that's pretty damn good, Colt. So here we go. It's got to be said for him. Here we go. There's a rock nonstop. MSK. Yeah, equally, AKA Colt. Okay. I'm uh, Mr. K on my hand. What are we going to do right now? A little bit of rich young dumb but not for many years. Oh my god, Greg! <laughs> Good job. 
the whole world right now. Cracks are like animals. And I know Granny hates it, and I do I'm going to turn it back up and out to Let's do a bongo This song Um, 
the reality I can't get away before it goes boom, boom, after the lights. Bottom line. I love you. God bless you. Happy birthday. Yeah. That's what I did for the five months birthday. And my friend lives upstate. It's nephew's birthday. I had to go to her and she got all upset and she was too tired me. Uh, Ruth Media, I mean, me and Ruth got all over too. Well, some guy named Mark, I, I had no idea of it. And I stay out shit like that. But I'm going to tell you what. By me making that recording about one individual and playing it to her, she knows. Now the buddy buddy seems awful odd to me. Very odd. I guess it's going to have to come down to something like this, maybe. Because I, 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 I'll never show face again. You guys want to keep treating me like that? That's fine. That's fine. You're all saints, remember? You've never sinned in your life. Never. You've never done nothing wrong. You never boo-booed. You never broke something or anything like that. Yeah. Think about it. I'm telling you, because this is what this country lives off of. Guess it to LiveRadio.com. Thank you very much.
Plaza. And I know the truth of the country. One night, while sleeping in my bed, I had a beautiful dream. That all the people of the world got together on the same wavelength and began having one. Now, in this dream, universal love is the same as the day. Peace and understanding. And it happened this way.
to say today to you folks. I appreciate my friend from upstate trying to sell things. And they both collaborated to two that did not like one another at all. Because when I he called me on a Skype call, he uh, said, I know who did. Me and Warbuck are getting it. They put me on a conference call so I didn't even talk to him, which was the bug. Now, I'm sorry for using your screen name, sir. Sorry, I don't to get you. I just, you won't listen to me. You really won't. You won't listen. But you did. And I know how it happened. That's why I would never blame Tammy at all. When you do what we were doing, you don't invite 9,000 people in a room when code's in there. What the hell's wrong with you? I should have hung up on a spot. I really should have. I should have hung up on the spot. But the script would have still been there. That was a stupid move. Stay away from my son. Because if Uncle Mikey finds out anything, he'd be at sea, and you don't want to mess with Uncle Mikey. That's his uncle. And even though he's gay, he's built like a brick shit house. And I'll tell you what, buddy. You won't be around too long. Man, he's got so much money, he's a millionaire. Oh, my son's a millionaire. Yeah, and there's that girl saying, you didn't know you ten graduate. Yeah, I did. Why was he running for president, though, of the college? Because he wasn't at the time when I made the statement. Jeez, old Pete, that's what that whole thing on Facebook was about. Him running for presidency of the Oxford University. And then you show no records of me going there. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. I lived there. You ain't even had to pay for transportation. You just get on the bus, take you where you want to go. And everything else is in walking distance. So that was a bullcrap lie. And that shit's got to stop. You need to start leaving people be and quit running your mouth the hate because we got enough war in this world. Now you got a war amongst yourselves. Isn't that cute? My God. You disgrace me. I swear to God. Uh, you know, um, that, that, that call just didn't get accidentally disconnected last night. Believe that. That one person had it had enough. And Hoppy quit lying. Quit lying. Because I will stop being your friend. You just talked to me the night before. Yeah. Came in the farm room and listened to music. So you better be careful. Because I'm probably the only friend you got left. 